What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Nerds Be Like toy review where we look at all the different kinds of toys that I pick up uh, to review. Uh, really, when it comes down to this stuff, I just choose toys that I'm like really interested in or toys that I just find even mildly interesting. I think, you know, can this play? And what I mean by that is, can I sit there and create a story? Can I sit there and, because you know, I'm not the type of person to just put things on the shelf and let them sit there. No, 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 I like to look at them, you know, play with them, create a story or something like that. Um, even if it's just for a few minutes, I just like that. Or even, you know, set them up and have them fight against each other. Um, how would that look, you know? So that's, that's what comes to my mind. So I usually just pick up toys that I'm really, or mildly, interested in <laughs> um so that is why we've been i've been talking about in the in the last video at least uh marvel legends eternals which marvel legends in general is just i love them i love marvel legends i love the action figures i like to see my favorite comic books my favorite toys or stories come to life i love it and not even well yeah we're talking about marvel legends but just i love to see comic books comic stories come to life i like to you know get those toys and make you know make it happen live you know so i really enjoy that uh so anyway we're talking about marvel legends eternals let's get to it As I, you know, I said a lot in my last video and I'm not even going to get into like more so the background of who these Marvel Legends are and all these different things. If you've seen the movie, if you've seen a trailer, you know what I'm talking about. The MCU Eternals, even though I prefer the Marvel Eternal, those toys have not come out yet. Or maybe people are creating them like the customized versions of them. I don't know. I haven't seen them. So I put them in a list from best to worst. Uh, reason being, you know, even though a lot of people do not like these figures at all, like uh, last time I talked about Ajax and, you know, what I liked about her, what a lot of people did not like about her what I didn't like about her. But we're going to go from best to worst. I want you to know who I like first. And then if you get tired halfway through the video and cut it out, that's good. I, I don't care. The worst ones are at the end. We're gonna talk about the ones that I think are the best. Number one, Icarus. Now I'm gonna show you Icarus. Uh, if we can, there we go. I'm gonna show you Icarus right now on this video. Uh, Icarus, I actually like this toy. I like his build. He's just a really good figure to me. He's buff. He's, he looks angry. He's ready to, he looks like he's ready to fight. I didn't like the movie at all, but the end where Icarus versus the Eternals, I loved it. I loved it. It really showed his power, his strength. Uh, and I feel like that's what the toy does. The toy brings out, um, his power the toy really brings out what he's about he's my number one because i do enjoy his build he's played by richard madden i know him from game of thrones you might know him from something uh completely different but on game of thrones uh i believe is a uh, was it king rob uh but anyway he was the first king of the north and he did such a splendid job and uh, spoiler alert he dies and his death is terrible <laughs> uh but yes but as far as him looking like richard madden no he looks nothing like richard madden he doesn't even resemble richard matt uh richard or is it richard uh but he doesn't even resemble him I'm like, he just looks like some white guy. Icarus comes with an action head where he's shooting lasers. That is why he is my number one figure. Even though my number two figure is a great figure, I find Icarus the most interesting figure. Even though he comes with two different hands, he comes with an action head. Like I said, he's shooting energy. Uh, but I find Icarus to be my most interesting figure. 
And then my number two is my second most interesting figure, and I'll talk about why. The last thing I want to say about him, about him is I love like I like his uh, his uniform. One thing I hate about all of them is that they do nothing to uh, make the back of the figures. I mean, yes, I, like yes, I'm paying attention to the front, and when I'm you know posing figures, you see the faces, but. The back is still detailed like you don't just you know wear a suit that just has all the frills and colors and stuff on the back and then not or on the front and nothing on the back like that's lame i'm like especially for a figure because i'm like if i'm taking a picture at the person's back and the back looks so uninteresting what the heck but uh, but yeah so that's what i didn't like actually and i noticed that in a lot of figures and i guess it's just me, I guess. I, I just want the figure to overall embody this person. It's like putting the Venom's white spider only on his front and nothing on the back. When in the comic and in shows and movies, it's on both. Overall, good figure. Coming up with number two, we have Crow. Now, Crow is not a part of the build a figure. Uh, the last figure, um, Icarus, is a part of the build a figure, but Crow is not. Crow comes uh, by himself uh, in his own packaging, nothing to do with the Gilgamesh build a figure. Uh, he comes with all sorts of tentacles and his hands switch out and everything. But the re obviously, look at this figure. The reason why he comes up number two is because of his height because of the detail, the colors. I love the colors. Like, and even now just looking at it with the reflection off, you know, the light off of all the different colors on his body, I love this figure. I like uh, just being able to pose him, uh, being able to switch his hands out with the tentacles. Uh, you have here on the back, um, they have the tentacles, uh, you know, you get to place them in into his back. Uh, you know, they're detachable or, you know, you attach them back. Uh oh, I think I probably should have just left it in there because. <laughs> okay, there we go. No! Okay, well, I dropped that. No, I gotta pick it up. <laughs> let me, let me do this. Okay, there we go. So that, you know, you can uh, uh, attach them or, or detach them, reattach them, whatever you wanna do. I like it. I just like his overall look. He gets to stand straight up like a human like he did in the movie and you can pose him however you want um, and it's it's so good he just looks so magnificent he looks like a great villain to have on my shelf and or even just to take pictures of like when I saw him I was just like whoa this is awesome crow becomes my second figure because um, like as I've already said, um, Icarus is my most interesting, uh, you know, figure. Even though he looks nothing like uh, Richard Madden, but just as a figure, I like it. I love it. I love the build. He all he looks ready to fight and everything. But that's why Crow comes up second because Crow is ready to fight Icarus. <laughs> He's ready to go at him. He's ready to knock him out. He got he's ready to take him out to kill him stab him, whatever he got to do to take Icarus out and I love that they really um, Embodied that uh, that ugly like You know a humanoid figure uh, that uh, Crow is. Crow is played by Bill Skarsgård. Obviously, it looks nothing like him. <laughs> but, um, but like I said, as a figure, I love it. I rock with it. Coming up on number three, we have Sprite. Okay? And Sprite is the like the kid like figure of the Eternals. Uh, I say kid like because she was created to look like a kid, young teenager, but she's thousands of years old. The reason why this is this figure is 
coming up on number three is because number one, num <laughs> number one, I like her build. In the lineup of all the Eternals, she's the only one who's actually her height. Or I'm not saying out of all of them, like all of them are different heights, but she is like the shortest and they made her the shortest. And I like that because there are some MCU uh, toys that have come out that they're shorter than the main character, but in, as a toy, it's the same height. And I'm like, that that don't make no sense. Like, if you're gonna make a toy, make it like it's supposed to be. If, if it's a child, make it a child. If it's a kid, make it a kid. A teenager who's short, make it a teenager who's short. It should not be the same height as the main character but i like her build i like her a uh, light uniform i like the little cape and it's like it's like she's in action she's ready to move she's ready to go i really enjoy that there's nothing bulky about it it's just light and it fits her as from uh from the character in her movie and like with just her being a magician the thing i do hate is that it does not come with a second head i would have liked to have a more like angry face or melancholy face for her is like she's just full smile just some full smile she's just enjoying life even though she was like low-key depressed in the movie like she did not like that she was still a child and she was liking on icarus but icarus wasn't liking on her because she was looking like a little kid and she's like well this ain't gonna settle so she ended up you know being turned into a regular human and so she was played by leah McHugh. does not look like her it looks like a little girl that's what it looks like. It looks like a little girl who cut her hair short. There you have it for number three. So really, I like I said, love her build, love her light uniform, and even I can say that for Icarus too, because like I said, he's just built and he they're ready to be posed, ready to move, you know? And so that's why Sprite comes at number three. Coming up on number four, we have Kingo, yes, we do. Kingo being played by Kumel Nan. Sorry, I said it. I was, I was determined to say his name right the first time. Played by Kumel Nanjiani. All right, now this reason why this comes up as number four is because he has a similar build to. Icarus as far as looking strong might you know ready to be posed ready to put into action uh, ready to go uh, the issue I had is that he got this little smirk like he's like mm, yeah I know what I'm doing I know what I'm talking about uh, but I you know he doesn't come with a second head I don't know why none of them come with a second head except for uh, who's the other one uh, Ajax Ajax is the only one who comes with a second head and I hate that I'm like it's more than Ajax and Icarus that looked like they were fierce that looked like they were strong and ready to fight but anyway that's what um, I was about to say Kumail that's what Kingo looks like Kingo looks like he's ready for action now the reason why Kingo comes at uh, number four is because for some reason they didn't make this left arm able to move like able to like you know how usually you can that shoulder uh, that shoulder part up there you can move it up like, up and down like this they did not do that with this figure and I don't understand why it's like it's just stuck there so then this arm is able to move and do whatever you know the the you know the muscle part right here is able to move or whatever but it's not able to go like this so then his arm just stays up and i don't like that like you have to turn it to make it look like it's just sitting down but it stays up see that that's weird and i hate it it's stupid uh but he is he's the second second to the first um figure that looks semi like the actual person like it has the features of kumail but he just looks like you know some indian guy some some middle eastern dude in a suit that's supposed to look like kumail nanjiani uh but like i said it does not um I, indian not uh middle eastern <laughs> sorry 
but he looks nothing like Kumail. He just looks like some Indian guy who is wearing um, Kingo's suit. Uh, but I, and his as far as his uniform, his uniform allows uh, posing some posing when it comes down to the legs. As we go down our list, you'll see why that's a huge why this is a huge deal to me, and also why he comes at number four. I also wanted to mention that Kingo comes with two uh, different pairs of hands where he's using his powers, he's using his action. So I'm really happy for that. That's why he comes up as you know as number four. He has <clears throat> he has the powers. He would have came up at number he would have came up at number two if he had a different head and that arm wasn't messed up and his uniform was a little lighter. But he comes up at number four is because he's not a light figure. His arm is messed up. He looks nothing like uh, Kumail, and yeah. And he only comes with a uh, extra pair of hands, which is good, but you could do the pose of him fighting, but he's smiling. <laughs> that's annoying, but that's why he's number four. Now I already had him up here. Where is he? All right, coming at number five, we have Fastos. Fastos is the Iron Man of the group. He's he's super into technology. He understands technology. He creates technology, while the rest of the group brings all their different gifts and everything to the world. He brings the technology. Yes, he is played in the movie by Brian Tyree Henry. As far as the figure goes, he looks like a black guy who played football, but is, um, what's the word? Is cosplaying as <laughs> Fastos. <laughs> he comes with two extra hands as, actually, let's just get it out of the way. Everybody comes with two extra hands, so I don't want to keep mentioning that unless it's something magnificent. But the hands that are used for him, I feel like I've seen them before. He looks powerful he looks like he's ready to move to use his power but guess what does it come with anything does it come with any gadgets does he come with um any like hologram holographic stuff to make it look like he's using his powers no and that's the same thing for sprite sprite doesn't come with anything either she doesn't come with any like you know magical tinkerbell looking you know stuff that makes it look like she's using her powers to tell stories and things nothing it just comes with actually does she come with she might come with two extra hands but she doesn't come with anything that's it and that's what i have a problem with a lot of these figures if you're gonna do it do it right don't just throw a wave at us and not um give us any extra stuff and this is why all of them went into clearance because they don't come with anything they don't come with anything that makes them significant and because they also don't look like who it is they're supposed to look like nothing also his suit this part and i had to look it up if they did this right i guess they did it right but I hate it because I can't pose him other than standing up and making his arms go like this. He's just standing up and just... And I'm like, come on, bruh. Come on, brother. What is that? So I, I really, I, I really hate his suit. Um, but he comes up as number five because he is the fifth more most interesting figure out of the group he looks strong he looks like he's ready to type or he's ready to imagine and you know i guess you know if you are good with customizing things for that uh for that type of figure or even take pictures and add different features like things are coming out of his hands or like he's like he's really good like he's ready in action 
face is as plain as um i don't know unseasoned chicken just plain face i'm like he makes no emotion he's not is he smiling he's not even smiling i don't even know so yeah this figure is decent at best so thank you guys for watching this toy review on the eternals marvel legends line um let me know in the comments what your thoughts were about these toys this again was my best out of the uh eternals line uh, i wanted to kind of put them all together and speak on them just in one video um but let me know what you all thought and also you know like if you bought the toys or if you know why what was your reasoning for not purchasing them at all i know a lot of people's reason but what's your reason uh so thank you again for watching and make sure you like share and subscribe you know all that good youtube stuff deuces